Hi guys, welcome back. It's your girl Miranda here and I'm back for another tutorial. Um, in today's video, I'll show you how to create this um, smoky, eye, blue smoky eye look. Um, I actually got this idea from the last Motivational Monday video, which was not last week, but week before last. Um, and speaking of last week, I want to apologize for not uploading, uh, at least a Motivational Monday video last week, but as some of you know, if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, because I did put it on my Insta story, um, fall semester has officially started, and as some of you know, or if you watch my videos, you should know that I'm a nursing major and I am in the nursing program now, so like... My anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, my stress, my frustration, all that is like times a hundred now. And so I wanted to get this video to you guys. I'm going to try and get um, at least one more video up this week as well. Fingers crossed. But just, just because I'm not sure if there will be a video for next Monday. And that's because I have my first nursing exam. So I'm going to be studying, 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 studying. As much as I can, as hard as I can. So, yeah, that's just a little little explanation. Um, I do apologize for not uploading the video, not uploading the video last week, and I'm apologizing in advance, just in case I don't upload the video next week. But next week, um, is my first exam. Next Monday is my first exam. So that's you know, these are my reasons. Here's why. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> so I got this. Um, inspiration look I got inspired by this look on the last um, blue and white video and so yeah you'll know the meaning behind it once the video gets started um, it's gonna be like the last video I'm just gonna I'm not gonna um, do a real voiceover you know like telling you what I'm doing this that and the third because you can see what I'm doing it's just gonna be give you a little motivational pep talk and why I chose this look if you watched the last little white video, if you haven't, it'll be here or here. I think it's here. Um, I'll leave it up here for you to watch. But, um, yeah. I did not record my base routine in this video because if you follow me on Instagram, I said I'm going to stop doing that for a while because I find it repetitive. I use the same old, same old products every single time. Same old products, same primer, same foundation. This at the third. The only thing that changes is probably um, sponges and or brushes. But um, yeah. So I didn't record my base routine. It's the same mode. If you want to see it, just check out some of my previous videos. Um, and at the end of this video, I have a matte lip. Like in the outro, I have a matte lip. But as you can tell, I have on a gloss now. Um, I just added a gloss because... I think I like it better as a gloss, but you can do it either matte or glossy. It's up to you. It's your preference, whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all the announcements. I think that's it. Oh, I apologize about my hair. <sighs> I've been struggling, y'all. Nursing school is really taking over my life, and it's only been two weeks. I'm getting ready to enter the third week. But it's taking over, you know, so I gotta, I gotta get myself back together. So I do apologize about my head situation. I'm gonna get it together, y'all. Pray for me. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Wait! I knew I was forgetting something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, we are almost at 100 subscribers, which means the big 100 giveaway is coming up very, very soon. So all I need is four more people to subscribe. I just need four of you who are not subscribed for whatever reason to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so y'all can have a chance to enter into the giveaway. So yeah, maybe the next video will be the giveaway video. Tell four people to hit that subscribe button so we can get this giveaway on and pop in. On and pop in. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 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 Um... I love you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. All right, guys. So first, I want to start off this little voiceover by saying 
um, as of today, right now, which is Monday at 7 o'clock, um, we're at 99 subscribers. I know I said in the intro that we only need four more subscribers, but I literally only need one more person to kick off this giveaway. So, yeah, y'all just keep that in mind. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. So, I'm going to record and figure out this giveaway details and go ahead and get that video up to you guys. All right, so for today's message, um... I know y'all probably a little tired of the blue look because the last video was a blue look as well. But I just like the color blue because it is associated with feeling sad and kind of depressed and kind of cloudy type. But um, I just think it's a universal color. But for this look, I wanted to start this message by saying um, I want y'all to pay attention to the shades of blue that I'm placing on my eyelids because it signifies what we do as humans or how our life goes as humans. You know, our life start out as, oh my God, it's so fun. It's so, we don't have any problems. Like we have no weight on our shoulders. We are just like the happiest human, we're the happiest human beings. You know, this start out, you know, from, from newborn to, to really preteen years, I would say. I mean, you know, when we start feeling ourselves or as some of the old folks say, as we start smelling ourselves, we think we have problems. But really, like, what problems do we have? Not knowing what a Crayola box is. <laughs> you know, do we not find, can we not find the perfect um, coloring page? So we don't really have any problems. But um, as we get older, those problems slowly excuse me, they slowly start to add on. And um, we don't really notice it at first. And then we really don't notice it until it's really too late. But I would say around our preteen years, um, especially once we hit puberty, the puberty range is really when we gain problems because first of all, we have to deal with puberty. I know males probably don't have to deal with that, but us females, excuse me, getting our period alone is just stressful. Like, I don't know about anybody else, but especially like the first two to three days, like, it's stressful. I'm really, I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm pissed. Like, I want to go find Eve and fight her. Like, I just want to know why. But, um, and then... We're starting to get in like middle school and our schoolwork is getting a little bit tougher. Um, for some of us, some of us, some of us it may be tougher and some of us, you know, we can breeze our way through it. But um Yeah, it's just like like the the pal just starts to get a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger. And you know, we may like I said, we may notice it a little bit, but not really. But this is where we start to slowly, slowly um, move away from who we really are. And that's not very healthy at all. But being so young, being so young, naive, not having enough, enough knowledge about it, is it's so easy for us to get trapped in and just think, oh, this is just life. You know, I'm just supposed to deal with these things. You know, yeah, I got the pressure of being, um, being a straight student. I have the pressure of becoming a woman now, becoming a man now. Like, I'm fine. Everything is good, you know. I mean, I do have my days where I feel sad. And some days I just don't feel like being bothered. But that's, like, completely normal, you know. All of us go through that. Next thing you know, you know, people, our friends, our family, make a rest in, peop rest in peace post on social media. Mm -hmm. And some people wonder, like, well, how did I get there? Because we're not paying attention I do want to say that, um, I know this is a little bit all over the place, but I do want to say that by the time we reach puberty, it's really, 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 really important for parents, um, counselors, um, family, friends, even, um, our peers to really, um, to really check on you or check on each other. And it's very, very, very important for parents to check on their kids, have that conversation with your kids. I'm not saying you have to be your child's best friend, but make sure make sure they're doing okay because 
some of these kids right here are evil and they don't give a damn excuse me excuse my language but they don't give a damn about nobody else and their feelings they don't give a damn that you just started your period they don't give a damn that you are a best friend that's died they don't give a damn that your dad just died your mama just died you know god forbid but they don't give a damn about you and your problems they don't give a damn that it's uh, that you're having a bad day so please as parents as peers as counselors please check on these students please check on your child your friends because you just never know like i like that saying that's been going around lately um take the time take the time out to check on your best friend uh, to check on your strong friend that is so 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 true Sometimes we take advantage of our strong friend and we always want to lean on them and go to them, but we don't ever go to them just to check on them. You know, we go to them for us and not for them, if that makes sense. But I just want to throw that out there. But now at this stage, we are in adulthood. We're officially in adulthood and we are going through it. We have college if we're in college. Well, first of all, before we can get to college, we have the stress of, are we going to go to college? Are we going to go to the military? Are we just going to work a fast food restaurant? Um, do I have to get a job that pays $10 an hour? Is it okay to work for seven twenty five? You know, how am I going to get my bills paid? I got rent. I got light. I got utilities. I got gas. I got groceries. I got clothes. I got, I just got all these things. And it's like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? Like, can I survive making seven twenty five? But if I work 10 hours a day, how am I supposed to be there for my kids? If I work 50 hours a week, how am I supposed to be there for my kids? How am I supposed to work 50 hours a week and go to school, go to college? How? How? And before we know it, that builds up. And it builds up. And it just builds up. And now we went from having no problems to having all the problems in the world. And I just want you all to look at this as like, you know, sometimes we have a way of looking at things only one way. Try flipping it around. Try flipping it around, okay? You see this eye look? It goes from dark. If you're starting with the lid, it goes from dark, lighter, lighter, lighter. You just got to think of your problems as the, as that way. Like, you know, I maybe have the, world, the weight of the world on my shoulders right now. But I know, I know, I have faith, I trust in God that this load is going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. I mean, they don't have no choice to. That's why I say, like, I know some cases result in suicide. I know that's not, like, the, that's not our goal. That is never our goal. But that's the reality that some people are not as strong as others. And some people just can't take it anymore. But I want to try and get as many, many people as possible to steer away from suicide. So while you're sitting here contemplating suicide or, or you know, just contemplating if you can make it or not, think about how you was before. Like, at one point in time in your life, you didn't have no problems. You was all fine. You was all good. You was all dandy. That's your goal. Have that set as your goal, to have no problems. Achieve your dreams. Achieve your goals. Take care of your kids. Go to work. Go to school. Do whatever you want to do. But you got to understand, with I'm going to face some obstacles. And there's going to be some times where I just don't feel like it. And that is okay. But don't you stay there forever. Do not stay there forever. You cannot stay there forever. You cannot. You cannot let yourself get so depressed to where, you know, you just want to you want to end your life. And when you're thinking about suicide, like I said, think about those goals. Think about your babies. Think about everything that you went through. All that, excuse my language again, but all that bullshit you went through, all that didn't break you. So why let it break you now? No, ma'am. No, sir. It's okay. Just remember, your load is eventually going to get lighter. It's going to get lighter. I promise you. I promise you it's going to get lighter. Have that Have that mind focus. It's a mentality thing sometimes. I know sometimes as people, we are so emotional. We are so, we're just emotional creatures. And that is fine. It is fine for us to be in our feelings. But we can't, like I said, we can't stand that way sometimes. We got to change the way we think. We got to change the way, the way our mind thinks, the way we interpret things. Like, I have to tell myself sometimes, like, all right, Miranda, you done been in the bed too long. You done been in your funk too long. Get your ass up. Take you a nice hot shower. Rinse all, you know, wash all the depressed, depressing state. Rinse all the sadness away. Get all that off you. 
And when you get out of the shower, you're a new person. You got a new way of thinking. You will make it. You can make it. You don't have no choice but to make it. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. And I see you all in my next video.